This is a song called Magazine Jeans. Marie from rockingscotland.com and I want to have speaking to Jono today. How are you Jono? I'm good Marie, thanks. Good. We've just he heard a wonderful set, very varied and most inspiring. Thank you very much. Yes, so we're here at Stephen's opening day yeah. for his big exhibition. It's wonderful. Yeah. Um, I just wanted to ask you a few questions about your inspiration and where it comes from and 
how do you manage to write all those wonderful songs? Um, I'm just very feelings orientated. So generally a song starts with a feeling. Um, that feeling will become a guitar part, mm -hmm. usually. And then the lyrics, I kind of see lyrics as a way of, a tool to more accurately describe the feeling that started off the whole process and um, a song can come out quickly or it can take a long time right um, to kind of it depends how, how deep I need to dig so that's pretty so much. So generally you're uh, saying the music comes first, the feeling, the music and then the, the words? Pretty much or occasionally I'll get one line in, a he in my head mm -hmm. possibly with a melody and then all the music will come but I don't think I've ever written a song with all the lyrics first. I don't think I've ever done that. Okay. What's your latest song called? The last one I wrote was called Deja Vu. I co-wrote it with a friend of mine called Eugene Ball. Deja Vu? Yeah. Any well, French connection well, there? Uh, has this happened before? <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't think so. <laughs> um, you know, um, a couple of songs um, that I've written recently have had French words in them. Um, I played in France in a festival in the summer. And it might have come from there, it might not have, but, you know, who knows. It came from deep within somewhere. Possibly. <laughs> so what did you think of the setting for this afternoon? The setting's great. It's fabulous, is Yeah, it's it? very homely. Yes. Stephen's done a great job, hasn't he? Sure has. Yeah. yeah. So I wanted to ask you about your recent tour. Okay. You've been on tour recently. Mm -hmm. where, where were you? I've been all over the, the UK, basically. I've done five shows in Scotland. Um, Six in England and one in Wales. Yeah, right. Quite yeah. a lot in the short space of time. Well, yeah, 12 and 12 days. Mm, quite exhausting. Pretty tiring, yeah, but the adrenaline keeps you going. Every day you've got a new place to go to and new people to see. Mm. It's it's a good buzz. So where was the first place you... First place was Inverary. We did uh, the north of Scotland first, which I've never done before. Mm -hmm. And we finished Scotland in Glasgow, then down to Manchester all the way through to like um, Birmingham and the south and on show in Cardiff as well. Okay, so that was well received was it? You it was really happy? good, yeah very happy. Yeah. How do you choose yeah. where you're going to go? I always wonder that. Um, it's my fifth UK tour, mm -hmm. so about half of the venues were new to me and uh, the other half just research online basically. I know the kind of venues I like playing at so I try and find those kinds of places. Mm -hmm. If I choose a city, uh, I just go in and have a wee look around, see what mm -hmm. venues are available, phone them up and see if they're interested in having me. It's quite a nice way of doing it, isn't it? Well, it, it's, uh, it's the only way I know of, you know. Do. So what's next for John? What will you do next? I've, I'd like to start recording my new songs because mm -hmm. my album's been out, Sentimental Anarchist, since 2008. It's now near the end of 2010 so I've got some fresh songs. Do you feel it's time for another album? I think so. Mm -hmm. I'm not quite sure um, how I'm going to approach it this time. My last album was very heavily produced and I produced it myself but I might want a more um, maybe a more sparse feel this time I think. Mm, more stripped okay. back as they say. Oh, I see. Right. Yeah so um, but one way or the other yeah that's what I'd like to do next. Maybe Stephen could supply some of the artwork, <laughs> it would be nice. Stephen's been uh, taking some great photos of me for years yes. now, so um, yeah, always like working with he's Stephen. He's got lots of great ideas, hasn't he? He's, he's, yeah. a, he's a mountain of like ideas. Like yeah. takes one to know one. Well, him. in a sense, yeah, yeah, I suppose that's why we get on, because he's um, he gets inspired very easily mm. by uh, visually, and I get, from my ears, I get inspired very easily, mm. and we both get excited about things in the same way, even though our lines of work are a bit different. Okay. Well, I hope you've had a lovely time. We have. We've had a great day here at Stephen's opening. It's been fabulous. The music's been fabulous. Yeah. You've provided a wonderful set. Thank you so much. Well, thanks very thanks much. Thanks for talking to us. Well, thanks for talking Thank to you me too. Daniel. Thanks a lot. A pleasure.